It's very low fi but it's just briefly announced. So anyway, uh, well for some of you, you will know what this is and maybe for some of you, you don't. This is a sequencer and they are blocks formed by playing things or nowadays like if you're using Ableton, uh, you have loops and you drag loops and then you form your stuff. So it's just blocks or pieces of uh, bass lines, drums uh, and stuff like that and that's how you form the music. So so I, I, I kind of filmed this to show a student because it's easier to uh, answer the question that way. And uh, well, now that we're here, uh, the th this is this whole this piece is just I don't know, just plucked from somewhere one evening. And how how did I come up with uh, something like that? Is by playing with sounds that you buy or you buy you buy uh, like a anything any a synth, a drum machine, a, a mono rock, and and uh, I'm just gonna. Pretend you guys are not here because the, the the funny thing with studio musician is that in a studio you don't get people staring at you. <laughs> so it's you, you can really it's very conducive. It's just <coughs> silent. I mean my privacy. But after a while I kinda got used to it. Now. So So just things like that when I run through or I search through sound. I run through the sounds and I see what inspires me to do or to uh So I run through sounds and then when I when I get set and I'll see what inspires me to do and then after that I'll run a software like that to, to record and I'm doing parts. Uh, when I was younger I do everything like uh, singularly. Then 
then then af- you, I, you know you do this and then after a while it's like there must be a better way of doing it like Faster way, and so you end up with uh, trying to practice finger drumming and things like that, and that's how you form your stuff. Then uh, a lot of times when people look at drum pads, they they tend to think that the pad means uh, one pad, one finger. Doesn't mean that you can have uh, two fingers on two pads and go. Yeah, then, then you combine stuff with it. Okay, just stuff like that. So after a while, you realize that this, by doing all this, it helps you with your programming and uh, things like that. So whenever you see a, a, a drum pad, uh, yeah, we should all just be doing that. It should have a, like a finger drumming committee and all that. It exists in America. There are uh, battles, but we it doesn't exist in Singapore right now. It means zero. There are no uh, finger drumming battles going on uh, at the moment. The DJ committee, uh, like from. Uh, like cold flow and all that, they've started some things, but never really uh, picked really picked up. Uh, so, so this is the stuff I practice every day to to get my. This this took me uh, two years so far. I've only begin like meddling around playing this way for about two years, um, and this helps me in my in my programming and things like that. Then with drum machines, uh, I like the electron octo track, where you program stuff. With a drum machine, it's uh, easy to just just program the, the the thing straightforward and adding stuff as you go along. And, uh, <clears throat> so it's a different kind of thing. With this, you you you, you add the add the it, the machine runs and then you want the, the machine runs and then you want to add the kick. Then you add the uh, That's like a four four, or you random, just random. For me, I try not to think too much. Even I'll just do just. There you go. There you go. I mean, I did even in a high hat. Yeah. So. So I like to uh, do accidental stuff. Like I don't like to like think too much or plan. My entire uh, studio uh, discipline has uh, has already like make me make wire me in, su- in some way that that uh, gives me this kind of um, thinking uh, that I don't really want to think too much when I do something, and I always work with accidental stuff and, and see what I get. This thing is an electron. Um, this is the, the one of the craziest drum machines around. It's a it's a very expensive drum machine. It's not it's not popular among here. It's, it's you you'll find it on YouTube. Uh. This this thing is a thousand eight hundred dollars. Uh, it's very expensive compared to like a innovation circuit, which is a few hundred dollars. And pretty much uh, okay. Uh, they are different worlds apart. 